All right, YouTube family, this your guy DJ Bless One. Now, I did a video asking questions about Macadia's, I can't pronounce their name, Macadia's Cookie Shops. You dig what I'm saying? Macadia's, Macadia's, who cares? This ain't a Big Mac, bro. Look, it was nothing against the owners of the shop. I did the video asking real questions that Young Dolph wanted me to ask. It was who at the shop gave his location? Niggas just want to say, oh, Young Dolph was at the gas station earlier. Nigga, it don't matter if they seen you at the Blockbusters earlier, bro. But who gave the key point? He was exactly right now at the cookie shop. He goes to the cookie shop every day. I understand that. But at that moment, who gave the info? Y'all going to keep saying them owners are sweet. Them owners are nice. But we ain't talking about the owners. You're going to hear from the owner's mouth, his own self, who said he got multiple workers working there. Y'all don't know these workers. Y'all don't go home with these workers. Y'all don't know what these workers do. Y'all don't know they life. So hop off and let me do the video the right way. Now the owner going to say something uh, suspect. The woman's husband, he said when he pulled up there, he thought Dolph was the one who was the shooter just based on how it looked. In my mind, why, why this nigga gotta be all extra? You know, Dolph gave y'all free promotion. Dolph, number one, I don't think the owner has nothing to do with Dolph death. Let's get it out the way for y'all sensitive people. In, in the meantime, let me pay these bills right quick. Hold on, y'all. Like I said, I don't think the owners have nothing to do with Young Dolph death, but it's the way they went about it, the way they weren't about their shop more than his death. They want people to come out and pay all their money for him. When we still trying to figure out who killed Young Dolph and what's going on with that, niggas is worrying about repairing their business and doing all X, Y, and Z. And shout out to them, but we gotta know who in your shop allegedly might have gave this man location out was it by accident was it on purpose but the liability still lies with the shop itself during that time they got robbed like a month before Dolph got killed there's still no security at the shop nothing going on to protect people patronizing your shop now let's fast forward it why would you say Dolph you thought he was the one who shot up the store when this man gave y'all free promotion free publicity and, and why would you even think it was that man now I'm gonna fall back and let the owners speak so they was really for his mother. Dolph and another young man stood in the left corner of the store on their cell phones and never saw it coming. Maurice drove up to see his workers raising their heads from ducking bullets and the young man. He was just distraught. He was hysterical. He was punching on the window and because I didn't know what was going on. I didn't I didn't I, I didn't know there was a body laying there and I thought, matter of fact, I thought he had shot the place up himself. Then he got two lemon and two strawberries punching on the window and because I didn't know what was going on. Now pay attention to what made Maurice Hill get me mad. He's gonna say, I thought Dolph was the one who shot up the place himself. The bro that that ain't cool bro. Door on their cell phones and never saw it coming. Maurice drove up to see his workers raising their heads from ducking bullets and the young man. He was just distraught. He was hysterical. He was punching on the window and because I didn't know what was going on. I didn't I didn't I, I didn't know there was a body laying there and I thought, matter of fact, I thought he had shot the place up himself. Then he got two lemon and two strawberry cookies. So they was really for his mother. Dolph and another young man stood in the left corner of the store on their cell phones and never saw it coming. Maurice drove up to see his workers raising their heads from ducking bullets and the young man. He was just distraught. He was hysterical. He was punching on the window and because I didn't know what was going on. I didn't I didn't I, I didn't know there was a body laying there and I thought, matter of fact, I thought he had shot the place up himself. I played it twice because I know you guys are wondering. The owner, the husband. Now this man and this woman is 100% innocent. We know that. Y'all need to stop being emotional. Young Dolph would have want DJ Bless when to ask these questions. Once again, who at the shop who worked there allegedly might have given the evidence? Maybe nobody did. But dudes is allowed to ask. We want to know what transpired when the workers went in there. How did these... And then we're going to find out later. Don't worry about it, y'all. Later on... 
after a while, we're gonna know the answers, but I don't need nobody to tell me about people's good characters when you don't know nobody involved. Just like y'all wanna say, you don't know these people, well take your own goddamn advice, you don't know these people. Just cause you see folks in them outside, now you best friends with everybody, now you know who's doing what. And hear the people, fall back. I'm a journalist, we're gonna ask real questions. In fact, I know Dolph family giving me love for even asking questions that y'all are afraid to ask. Look, I'm DJ Bless One, love your family, love your kids, and stay blessed, man.